Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question to find the index of the first occurrence in a string. Okay, so let me explain with this example. Uh, hey stack is ABC, XYZ, and the needle is XYZ. So for this question, we have to return the index of first occurrence of needle in haystack or return minus 1 if needle is not part of haystack. But the problem is uh, we don't know where to start, so that's why uh, we iterate through all characters one by one. So we start from index 0. And the next strategy is, um, so needle is x, y, z, right? So which is a length of 3. So that's why every time we check current index plus 3. So, so haystack and uh, start from current index and uh, end point is current index plus length of needle so in this case 3 right so in this case uh, we start from index 0 and uh, end point should be 0 plus um, 3 so in this case uh, from 0 to 3 but uh, uh, in python uh, this and number is not included, right? So that means um, 0 to 3 means 0 to 2. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So first of all, we check from 0 to 2, so ABC, but the needle is XYZ, right? So in this case, uh, we can't start from index 0, right? So move next, and uh, we repeat the same process. So from B, so now index number is 1 and then 1 plus uh, 3, so that is 4. So from 1 to 4, uh, I mean 1 to 3, so uh, 1 to 3, so b, c, x, but uh, x, y, z, right? So we can't start from index 1, and then move next. And uh, now uh, current index is 2, and uh, 2 plus 3, 2 to 5, that means 2 to 4, and uh, c, x, y, and uh, they are not the same, right? So that's why I move next. And then now um, index 3, and 3 plus 3, and 6. So 3 to 5, right? 3 to 5, 3 to uh, 3, 4, 5. And uh, they, uh, this is uh, x, y, z. And the needle is x, y, z. So they are same. So that's why, uh, in this case, we should return uh, index 3. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, if length of a stack is less than length of needle, in that case, we should return minus one immediately. If not the case, let's iterate through all characters one by one. So for i in range and the length of a stack, and then uh, if a stack and uh, from current index to i plus length of needle equal needle in that case we should return current index number and then if not the case return minus one yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n multiply m where n is a length of haystack so i mean outer loop and uh, m is a length of needle so in each iteration, so we slice string um, from current index to current index plus length of needle, right? So that's why in each iteration, uh, we have like a slicing cost, which is a length of needle. So that's why time complexity should be uh, n multiply m. And the space complexity is, I think, an order of one, because we don't use extra data structure. So that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with the action such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.